Hey, what's going on guys? It's Abyss here again with another video and once again this is going to be a little bit different than usual. I'm going to be talking about Deadman Mode and in my opinion what Deadman Mode needs to have changed in order for its constant survival throughout the years and every season, tournament, and Deadman Mode event to come. Now, this is somebody, uh, well this is the perspective of somebody who's been playing Deadman Mode pretty much every season with the exception of one. Um, I've played with a clan, I've played with a team, I've played solo, and I've played as a streamer. So I think I have a pretty good perspective. Um, as I used to be leader of Cutthroat, um, obviously I played with them. And then on top of that, I also played a couple seasons um, with a different single team. Uh, well, it was just a dead man single team. But then I've also played a season completely solo before I kind of got anywhere on Twitch. And then I played last season pretty much as a streamer. So I kind of think that I have a perspective of somebody who has um, team experience, uh, multi and single. I think I have a little bit of experience when it comes to being an actual solo player. Somebody who has, um, you know, to pretty much grind it on their own, play with a couple friends and doesn't have any sort of help from uh, the outside. And then I've also played it, um, you know, when I was moderately uh, big on Twitch where I was getting uh, good viewers and, you know, if I ever really needed anything, people would kind of help me out and stuff like that. But um, so I basically just wanted to make this video to talk about a couple key points and just my opinion on what will make dead man mode better for everybody now once again this is an opinion this is not saying this is what dead man mode should be like although i personally believe that it should this is just me saying hi my name's abyss and this is what i think everybody is free to have their own opinion everybody is free to make their own choices and form their own thoughts on the matter but personally this is what i believe would have dead man mode fixed Alright guys, so basically I'm going to be breaking this video down step by step, kind of like an iDubs video or something, but uh, I really just want to make this the overview and just give you guys a general idea of what I'm going to be talking about. So first and foremost, I believe that this seasonal Deadman mode, Worlds, and the top 2000 players should be transferred to the actual seasonal tournament. So what I'm basically saying is yes, transfer the accounts, the stats, the items, the gear, the quests, everything, transfer it. And I mean... At face value, that's kind of like, whoa, you're kind of like really switching the entire tournament up here. What the hell are you talking about? And I'm going to get right into that, but I do kind of want to make a couple points that I'm going to be talking about the seasonal activity, how this can actually help the seasonals in a gigantic way, the seasonal integrity, how this can help the integrity of the Dead Man Mode seasons. And I know that's kind of a weird one, like what the hell are you talking about? I will definitely explain it. And um, on top of that, there's the grind factor. This will make the game so much less grindy. And I promise you that if you just give me a minute to explain. On top of that, there is the integrity of the tournament. Now, that's something people are thinking about. What the hell are you talking about? The integrity of the tournament? What does that even mean? Now, there is going to be two parts to that. The first part is going to be basically the integrity of the tournament as a game and also the way that this can benefit Jagex as a company in a massive way. Now, on top of that, there is also going to be um, a little talk at the end or a little bit of a discussion I would like to hear uh, from you guys as well in the comments about the tournament week and I'm going to be giving you guys my idea but I'd love to hear some of yours as well as to how the tournament week itself can be a little bit altered based off of what I'm giving you and once again guys these are just my opinions I have no say and I have no way to actually make any of this stuff pass but I figured this is my YouTube channel I have a little bit of an audience now so why not talk about it anyways guys let's just jump right into seasonal activity and how this can actually help Dead Man Mode seasons for years to come. Alright guys, so basically overplaying the last few Dead Man Mode seasons, I've come to realize, and I think a lot of people have realized, that the seasonal activity is dying down rapidly every single season. The first couple of days are great. But honestly, even the most recent season, I noticed this shit was pretty dead after just two or three days. And it was getting increasingly harder to find people. Definitely not the way Dead Man Mode used to be. And that's kind of why this is an issue. So basically, if you think about it, everybody loves these XP caps. Everybody is saying how they make the game a lot more fair, how they make the game um, a lot easier for people to catch up and stuff. And while I agree... Um, there is a couple things that are just totally wrong with the XP cap. Now, 
basically in the original few dead men modes before the cap came in and even the ones where the cap was quite a bit uh significantly lower or higher whatever way you want to look at it um there were people just training like all over the map there were people at trolls there were people at ogres there are people everywhere nowadays since the rate is 15x and everybody is training only 500k experience there's people just doing nothing like they're either pking or they're training as soon as the cap hits nobody pks because they don't want to waste their xp which means the only time that people are actually outside of the banks or outside of the safe zones um everybody is training and if you run around and go and try and kill those people you waste your cap so your account is it like ends up being crappy because you wasted 500k in range when you wanted to get 500k in mage for example so that in general is an issue um you basically can't run around and pk and other than that after about an hour or two no one's training anymore everybody's either pking or if they're not pking they're logged out doing something else because there's nothing for them to do outside of pking anymore and that's kind of an issue with deadman mode because this game is a pvp game mode it thrives off of pvp activity there is no way for you to go and do something on this game mode because it gets erased what would anybody like why would somebody go and get like 95 wood cutting or something to try and make money when there's way faster ways of making money there's just no one is going to be doing this type of stuff like there needs to be an active way to make the game better so if you think about it the seasonal activity will increase because of this because people will want items people will want certain things for the tournament and what i mean by that is think about this logically if i knew for a fact that there was going to be a deadman mode tournament based off of my account that I actually created and actually worked an entire month for, I would be training Slayer, I would do everything I can to get the highest prayer level, I would be doing things outside of just playing the game for PKing. Literally, this is how I play deadman mode season, and anybody else who's smart plays it pretty much the same way. They log in, they train their cap, they go PK. When it's inactive or there's too many teams out, they log out because there's nothing to do. But with this, it opens so many avenues. That means on day five or six, people will be getting things like ecumenical keys because they'll know how valuable Deadman Mode will be later on, or they'll be doing things like doing Slayer or stuff like that, and that puts people on the actual map. That means that there's an incentive to actually go and do these things because right now, what the hell would I care about going and doing ecumenical keys or going and doing Slayer when I know that I can just buy a whip and then never die for the rest of the season? Like, what purpose would there be? But if the season is going to get transferred, that means you have one whole month. You have an entire month to do these things so that your account for the tournament is actually going to be good. Now, this means that all of the item values will increase dramatically because currently on day, no, after not day, sorry, week two, week three, nothing sells. You can't sell a Mystic set anymore because there's not enough people PKing. Nobody needs Mystic when there's 50 players logged in and the only 50 people that are playing are good PKers that don't die, but you happen to kill somebody, you want to sell Mystic, it takes two, three, four hours just to sell. It means things like Slayer would be active. It means things like dailies would be active. People would log in every day to go and use their XP cap. People would log in every day to try and continue grinding things like Slayer, even three weeks, four weeks into the game because there would be a gigantic incentive to do it because everybody wants that prize. We all want that 25 grand. We all want that big screen showing our name when we win the tournament. Who doesn't want that? I would play it, but I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't play it in the sense that I would have to wait an entire month to go by that is completely meaningless in order to play a tournament only to grind my account again and then have it like think about this from this perspective you play the entire season right so let's let's just look at the next season that comes out say you play this whole season start to finish one month of playing your account gets deleted now you play the next season or no the tournament sorry you play the tournament that's the next thing now you're pretty much instantly diving into no life mode you got to play this for 20 hours a day if you want to keep up with other people on top of swapping so automatically your week and your sleeping schedule and honestly some health habits are probably going straight out the window okay that's fine you got to do what you got to do to play the tournament but now right after that your accounts deleted again shucks now instantly within an hour a new season is is is, is there and what do you have to do on this season once again start from scratch only to have it deleted again after a month. So basically, Jags is asking the players to grind three times in the course of three months in order to play Deadman mode efficiently. So 
I can understand that, and honestly, I can respect it because I would love to personally do it. However, I just don't see the benefit as a player. Now, think about it from the perspective of the tournament actually being transferred from the seasonal. You would only have to grind once for the seasonal. The grind during the tournament wouldn't be as excessive. I'll talk more about that later because I do have some ideas on how to make the seasonal week or the tournament week, sorry, a little bit better. But then on top of that, your account actually is meaningful. Every seasonal thing that you do, everything you do, every tree you cut has some value outside of the seasonal. So places will be active. Godwards will be active. People will be training all over the map. There will be tons and tons of things to do. And even if there aren't other people doing it, if you want to play the tournament, you can do it. And that's all that really matters. It will actually be competitive the way that a tournament should be. And that leads me right into the next point on seasonal integrity. All right, guys, so seasonal integrity is one that I really need to talk about, and I feel that this has not been touched on enough. Um, currently, the way that Devna Mode works is you pretty much just play the season, or honestly, you don't even need to play the season. You could really just log in the last couple hours of, this, of the worlds being um, online and just do things like woodcut, fish, fire make, maybe train a little bit of combat pretty much do random skills in order to get like 1300 total and you'll pretty much always make it in the tournament it doesn't take any more than a couple hours um i've tested it myself although i don't play the tournament because i don't really see a point currently but it really 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 only benefits clans um most people who actually play the seasonal don't end up playing the tournament because they enjoy the actual competitiveness and they actually enjoy playing dead man mode um as a game mode that they can kill other people and the top PKers and the top players of Deadman every season, I will bet my life on it that 90% of them, if not more, don't actually play the tournament. And that's kind of a sad thing, and that kind of um, defeats the entire purpose of the tournament in general. If you think about it, a tournament is supposed to represent the best people in the seasonal. It's supposed to represent and highlight the top players you're supposed to take the top 2000 people and put them in a ring where they can fight the way that it works right now is kind of at a point where anybody who wants to play can pretty much play in the tournament they just have to waste some time um training up the couple stats or couple skills and i'm not even saying like make it in a way that nobody has to train skills or something like, that. like fine keep it the top 2000 on the high scores but the way that it should be is if the worlds are actually transferred from seasonal to tournament the top 2000 people will be an accurate representation of the people who deserve and belong in the tournament it will actually be competitive the top 2000 people will actually be something that's earned it will actually be something that is valuable rather than like i'm not even kidding like people literally run services when they will create your account for you and make it to the tournament because it doesn't it's not even that big of a deal like they can sit there and train mining fishing woodcutting smithing whatever for a couple of hours and they will actually do your account for you so that you don't need to, to grind it because it's not that difficult to get entered that's kind of where the integrity comes in currently the tournaments are being run by people who don't even play the season people who are literally just skilling on the last day entering the tournament and winning it like and that's fine because that's the way that the tournaments are currently run. But if the seasonal worlds are actually, or the seasonal people, top 2000 with accounts, banks, skills, etc., quests are transferred to the tournament, it won't matter because those people will have terrible accounts if they just make it on the last, like, you know, rank 1928 or whatever. Their account will be complete garbage in comparison to the people who actually played in the first, like, 1500 or so ranks. So if you think about it, it'll actually make. Deadman mode tournament very competitive it will mean that people who played the season and belong in the tournament will actually be in the tournament and this will create more and more people actually playing because clans and players and teams and stuff like that will actually be competitive for those spots and the deadman mode seasonal will actually become more active as well as the tournament itself because everything is going to be forced on you rather than it just being pretty much free reign for whoever wants to waste a couple hours training meaningless skills on a pvp game mode so the reason i kind of call this seasonal integrity is because it almost feels like people are cheating in order to get in there i literally have friends and i'm not even exaggerating 
Um, I have friends who don't even play the season at all, and they'll just pay somebody or they'll either do it themselves, and they'll take five or six, seven accounts, skill on them, and then swap on the tournament worlds. And those are, like, that's fine, whatever. Swapping's a part of Dead Man Mode. I don't have an issue with that. But the way I kind of look at it is this is supposed to be, like, Jagex's and RuneScape's biggest gaming event. A hundred thousand people have seen this on live streams. Like, there have been times where... Bodhi's stream has had 40k viewers and the OSRS channel has had 50 or 60k viewers like simultaneously that's 100k people not even including the other smaller streamers that's a lot of eyes and not only should it be represented in a good way but it should be represented in a way that people are looking at this and going like damn this is this is this is this is fun I want to get into this I have so many old friends come back to OSRS because of Deadman mode and the way that seasonals are being run currently completely and utterly humiliates the way that the tournaments are run because there's no there's no incentive to actually go and play the seasonal there's no incentive and it's not even a real test of who's the best it's not a real tournament it's like it's like who can get 1300 total and whose clan is the best like that's what it comes down to it doesn't it's it doesn't even really matter and I'm not even saying that because certain teams win every time, like Lit and Rot will always win. But that's beyond the point. Like, I would rather Lit and Rot actually play the season, and then the season will be active because they'll have more clans and more teams and more players. And that's just what it comes down to. There will be bigger seasonal activity. So that's pretty much my point on seasonal integrity. Take that one with a grain of salt or look at it in any way that you wish. I personally don't think that you should be able to log in, cut some trees, fish some fish, burn some logs, and suddenly you're a top 2,000 dead memo competitor. It should be the top 2,000 people that actually grinded the season, played it the entire way, have the best accounts, the best PKing ability, and that's what should be represented in an actual tournament, not people who are logging in for a couple hours, getting the total level, and then using and abusing it for either um, swapping or just to make accounts to sell to people or whatever. So, like I said, take that one with a grain of salt, look at it any way you wish. That's my personal opinion on the seasonal integrity. So let's just jump into the grind of the tournament and how this can actually become beneficial for players in general. Alright guys, so the biggest and most talked about argument as to why people hate Deadman Mode, don't want to play it, or see it as a waste of time, is literally that people say it's too much of a grind so let's think about this for a minute i agree first and foremost i agree demo mode is a grind and a half it takes a long time to get into you either got to have a big ass bank on the regular game and swap over or you got to have a lot of time on your hands to log in every day and do things like hunt the entire map for people or just in general train your account and do quests and stuff like that like it takes a long time and especially those first few days when it takes a bit longer to actually level up, even 500k XP takes quite a bit on day one because you have no gear, no items, you don't, like, runes don't just come out of nowhere, uh, you don't have anything like that. So I definitely get it. And in all honesty, I agree, it is a bit of a grind and it definitely favors people who have uh, more time on their hands. So this is why my next proposal is kind of you know in in some way shape or form beneficial to those people so a lot of these people also i'm sure would love a chance at the prize money 20,000 10,000 25,000 whatever number jags offers each season is usually different but think about it logically i get it the seasonals are one thing that's a grind but the tournament that's a whole nother level now i look at myself as a fucking runescape nerd like i am i stream full time i play at least a minimum of eight hours a day because i'm streaming usually six to eight hours a day and on top of that i mean i'll be honest i live here like this is what i do um i love my community my friends and everything about this game i've been playing it for a long time so i definitely agree and even me i get burnt out I get burnt out. I don't think I'd be able to do tournament. I feel like there's definitely people that are a lot better at that type of stuff than I am. I don't think that I'd be able to outgrind them. So looking at it from my own perspective, I can see where people are coming from, especially people who have regular jobs and can't stream or they're in class or they have girlfriend, wife, family, car, whatever it has. They have stuff to do. They don't have time to play 30 hours a day. So that's understandable. And I get it. But something like this would mean that you have a lot of time to build your account up you have an entire month where if the seasonal is actually transferred to the tournament think about it you would have time to log in and slowly get your xp cap 
You would have time to slowly build your bank up. You would have time on the regular game to make money and swap over. You would have time to slowly do quests, whether it's one quest a day or whatever. That's 30 quests at the end of the month. And I feel like in general, this would eliminate the problem. Yeah, it's the true fact that other people would still be ahead. But this year would be a step forward, at least instead of letting these people some of them like myself get 10 or 20 steps ahead this way they would only be getting five steps ahead now you're never going to be able to defeat that the fact that people have different lives everybody has different things to do everybody has different time schedules and amount of free time and that's not something that's a universal fact that's not going to be beaten or argued with it's just the way it is you have a job a kid fucking three mortgages whatever you have stuff to do you don't have as much time as somebody like me who streams full time or somebody else who does absolutely nothing so that's just what it is like everybody has different stuff going on in their lives or at different points um so that's just the way that it is and in order to fix that the only way that i can honestly see it is yeah you can add xp caps those are nice but then it is detrimental to the game you can add things like gear caps yeah that's also something that helps but it's also detrimental to the game but something like this where if you're taking an entire account that if people have had a month like some of these people have you know they might not have seven days a week free they might not have five days a week free but they, you know they might have a day or two a week free that they can catch up every weekend and build their account up and then take a couple days off for the tournament because they've put effort into the account or something like that i'm not saying that's something that people should do take time off work to play runescape but you get my point like the option is there and on top of that you have an entire month to build up an account you don't have to swap you can get 85 slayer yourself training 100k xp per day you could literally train 100k slayer xp on deadman per day and in one month you would have 85 so i mean like the option is there if you take your seasonal account and have the ability to have it transferred to the tournament this year would make it a lot less grindy there would be so many more people that would actually be down to play because the seasonal would be active the entire time all the way down to the last hour of the last day because everybody would be trying to get their account as good as possible and trying to be competitive for those final spots. So this is all I wanted to make on this argument. I feel like it would be less grindy. I feel like more people would actually be able to be competitive and I don't really want to talk too much about it, but I just feel like people would have a lot of time for preparation, whether that's quest gear, stat skills, or, you know, just in general, they'd have time to actually build an account rather than being forced to stay up 20 hours a day for five or six days straight, which is extremely unhealthy. But yeah, guys, that's all. And let's jump right into the integrity of the tournament. And this one here is the one I want to talk about that has two meanings to this. So let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, now on the topic of tournament integrity, I think that there's two different topics to be talked about here. One is going to be the, from the perspective of players, and one should be my opinion on the perspective of Jagex as a company. So I'll talk about Jagex's first. Um, obviously, demo mode is something that Jagex profits as a company and grows from as a company quite a bit. A lot of people come back to the game. A lot of people are watching RuneScape videos, which in turn calculates to more players or more people you know giving the game a try or trying the game on next time or whatever and on top of that um the twitch section is just booming the views are crazy i mean myself personally i had a peak of 2700 viewers last season on demo mode and multiple streams hit over 1000 and a couple even hit in the 2000s and i've seen even some smaller streamers pull those kind of numbers as well because obviously this is something that people want to watch now this is obviously something that i'm sure somebody at jagex has you know on some data analysis or something has probably looked at and been like all right yeah dead memo is kind of good for a company so when there's a hundred thousand people watching a tournament would it not be better if people were watching a tournament of people running around in Aram's Top Bottoms, Ancient Staffs, DFSs, Gothen Helms, and I'm not talking about one or two like they usually are, I'm talking about like the whole map is just filled with people in good gear. This should be like some gladiator stuff, like where everybody's in the best gear, it's a whole bunch of people that grinded for a whole month every day, day in and day out, and you know, stuff like that is what people would want to see. That's the type of stuff that makes people want to play, but I'm not even kidding, I almost kind of laugh when I'm watching these tournament streams and I see like 10 kids that you know grinded their ass off, played it super hard, swapped probably a couple hundred mil worth of GP, and on top of that, they come out with a crazy account. 
But then right behind him, there's a guy running around in full myth with an oak longbow and, like, no arrows because he's just trolling around. And that's what I mean. Like, there shouldn't be that. In a $10,000 tournament of RuneScape's biggest and most, like, well-performed event ever that comes back and does massive numbers every few months, this should be, like, the topic. This should be, like, the highlight. Like, this should be, like, what sets records for RuneScape. And this shouldn't be something that, like little johnny johnny son 43 or whatever is running around in 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 a myth mace and and full and full black just like hitting cows and stuff in the middle of a tournament like there are people that literally just run around and, and they're trolling or or they didn't have time to complete their account or get their account as far as other people and that's like from from jags standpoint i was never able to understand how this was okay like i get it people can train and they're free to do whatever they want and stuff like that but like i would be making moves every like if it was my company and i know it's not i'm not trying to say that i'm smart and jenks is dumb or anything like that that's not what i'm trying to say at all but what i am trying to say is like if i was in that position i'd be like okay well how can we switch this around so that like the tournament actually looks super competitive and the tournament actually looks super uh like super organized and that people like really trained their hearts out for this and that people really put in a ton of effort to make this work and that a whole bunch of people actually believe they have a chance at winning because like i watch the tournaments and out of the 2000 people that qualify there's usually about four to five hundred people that are actually playing and i'd say at least a hundred of those people every single time are usually people that aren't taking it seriously didn't have enough time to get anywhere near the, where the place that they wanted to be or they were just like not really playing at all and they were just kind of like running around but that's just what i mean like if the seasonal worlds and the seasonal accounts were transferred the way that the game would look is completely different every single kid would be above 100 combat every single kid would at least have pretty much barrows or at least mystic and it would look super competitive there would be teams there would be team versus team i guess what i'm trying to say is just the growth of dead men in general would exceed expectations when it comes to the amount of people that play and the way that the game is perceived and it would look a lot more professional and a lot more competitive on live streams as well um, when people are actually running around taking it seriously rather than people are just messing around or in, in stupid gear and stuff. Like, when I think $10,000 tournament, I'm not thinking guy in full myth or full red dehyde. I'm thinking, you know, bunch of PKers that deserve to be there because they're very good at PKing, they're very good at the game, where they play dead men and they've perfected the craft of being good at dead men. And, I mean, I don't know. I just, I personally... I, if I was JX, I would be like, man, we have a hundred thousand eyes watching this. Let's make it the best that we can make it. And I get it, you know, to some extent there's nostalgia and there's people like, I would rather watch people in Mystic. I would rather do this and that. But like the fact of the matter is, it's not like that now because the people who win aren't the people in Mystic. The people who actually make it to the end or the people who are, you know, like they're not level 80s, they're level 120s. So rather than have 50 kids level 120, and everybody else level 100 and then a bunch of people that are like level 90 why not make it so that everybody's even why not make it so that it's forced almost that everybody is actually going to be at the same spot as, as as each other and those are the people that are competing the people who deserve to be there because they grinded the grinded the account but that's just my perspective that's what i would look at if i was a jagex employee that's what i would be like okay well we could definitely do something like this and it would be better for us as a company as well as the game itself but like i said opinion based video 100 percent, and that's something that i would personally love to see and something that i would personally try and implement if i were an employee at jagex all right guys so i definitely wanted to talk a little bit about the tournament week as well to wrap this video up and kind of give a little bit of perspective so obviously the whole argument is going to be now if all of this does end up happening somehow um, the way that it would look is, okay, so the seasonal accounts get transferred, and then what? What actually happens the week of the tournament? We like watching that, we like playing that, and I get it. I actually really enjoy that as well. Now, currently, the way that the game is, um, during the season, there is an XP cap, there is a cap on certain things like raids, um, there's a cap on barrows, so that you can't actually get items, and stuff like that. So, I think that that's completely fine. I think that the way that it should work is the same as it is now, but when your account actually gets transferred to the tournament, it goes to like tournament mode and the filters are off and things actually become a little bit more difficult, in which case there will be new content like barrows can once again become unlocked so that there is a bunch of time and a bunch of uh, 
resources available to you to continue and actually make the tournament a little bit competitive in of itself. Um, on top of that, remove the XP cap. Um, it'll be one world and this will make it highly competitive. Now, everybody who didn't have Barrows and everybody who didn't end up training has a, has an entire week now to finalize their account. You can get Barrows, you can go in, uh, you know, XP cap, stuff like that. They could even, well, Jax could go as far as uh, releasing raids so that teams can start doing raids, um, stuff like that. And like, th like, there's a whole bunch of things that currently aren't released that, that could just be released. They could make an auto quest. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff like just got to improvise really things that currently aren't in the seasons can now be accessed in the tournament to make it a little bit more competitive to make it a little bit more um fun and honestly I, my personal opinion is the pkang would be so much fun on the seasonal or on the tournament because number one a barrels piece is going to be worth a fucking lot right off the bat everybody's going to want barrels like think about it. if there's a thousand two thousand people trying to get this because it wasn't available to them during the seasonal you can bet your ass that a bunch of people are going to be going after this or, or going after these they're going to want carols they're going to want tour eggs you're going to want your derox you're going to want all this stuff arams especially stuff like that now you could also go as far as removing dfs's from the seasonal and then during the tournament itself um dfs's will become available um that's just an idea you know there's a whole bunch of stuff you can make it so that piety isn't available during the seasonal because obviously who wants to go and get 70 prayer and do that quest actually i think it's auto quest now but the point i'm trying to make is you got to mix and match a little bit and what i would like to see is if you guys don't mind helping me out just give me your opinion say in the comments what you would like to see during the tournament week and what kind of stuff you would actually like to see um be taken away from the seasonal and and, and added to the tournament to make the tournament a little bit more like action-packed or competitive but um yeah i mean i personally think that the way that things could work is uh you know you just kind of got to mix and match man like you got to take things away and you got to add stuff so right now in, in in the seasonal there's no barrows there's an xp cap there's multiple worlds and it's very easy to get around and do things for the tournament you minimize that you add barrows you remove the xp cap so you know if you're only made it to like 111 combat you have a whole week on times 10 or whatever it is to go and fit finish that up um you know nobody would have to quest um or or maybe maybe quest is the only thing that doesn't transfer i don't know whatever the case is um i just think that there is a lot of room in this idea to mix and match and make the perfect dead man mode um i honestly believe that quests items and all that other stuff should be completely transferred i've seen people say things like keep the accounts but don't transfer items transfer items but not the accounts you guys gotta remember if you transfer items quests and accounts that keeps the seasons active as well that's my main issue here is the seasons and the tournaments will co like they will work together if you mix and match things properly if you make it so that the accounts transfer that means the season will be looked at as like a five or four week exhibition or like a four or five week qualifiers and then the tournament is like you know the main event the final 2000 type thing but yeah i mean that's really what i'm just talking about in like in, in general like if you play with it if jagex were to like ever come across this video and give it a try um i just personally believe that there is so much room to make dead man mode the esport that i know runescape deserves i know that there is so much room for this like i just believe that like dead man mode to me is like a baby man it's like a seed and all it needs to do is be watered needs to be taken care of and it will grow like this can grow the game like this opportunity that we have and like the the way that dead man mode works it's fun it's competitive it's creative it's new it's something that a lot of other games don't offer and it's unique to runescape and i think the the idea of the open map open world um you know the xp multipliers the fact that you can kill people anywhere like that's exciting like that's competitive and for some reason i don't know it just feels like deadman mode has been something that's been swept under the rug and in reality like great things don't happen overnight you know like great things happen because of change great things happen because of an idea and you tweak the idea until it's perfect and I understand that's what Jax is trying to do every month, you know, every season they try and switch stuff up. But that's kind of it. Like, if something works one season, don't run the same tournament or the same season on the next season. The way that it is, is like, it was good for that season, but people get bored of it. Like, the season before the last one was actually pretty good. But the season that we just had, like, in December, I'm not gonna lie, that was the worst season ever. Like, that was just... That was the biggest waste of time it was so dead after two days i couldn't even find anybody to fight 
and I played it the entire way through until there was literally 30, 40 players online, and it was just Torvesta running around slaying everybody by himself. But anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much my analysis of demo mode, how to make it work. Um, I think I've covered everything. I know this video was really long. Props to you if you made it to the end, and thank you very much for listening to all of that. Um, once again, you know, it's, it's super early in the morning. It's like 9 a.m., Maybe I didn't get all my thoughts out, but I think that the idea and the general um, understanding has been met where, in my opinion, I just see so much good coming to the game because of this. And as you guys can probably tell by now, like I'm super passionate about demo mode. I love this game mode. Um, it has a sense of nostalgia. It has a sense of grind. It gives you that feeling that you had, you know, when you first started RS that every kill is worth something. Like I'm going to be all the way real. When I go PK on regular RS right now, I get a Mystic kill, a Whip kill. I don't. It doesn't excite me at all. I'm even a Max kill, 20 mil. I'm just like whatever. Like I don't really care. It's like who? Can, like I've killed a hundred kids for this. My bank's big enough. I'm good. But when I'm on Dead Man, I get that Mystic, Mystic kill, like Mystic D skim. You get that full rune set. Like I get happy. I'm like shit. Yo, that's a good ass kill. Like that's full bank. Like you, like you, I'm, if you've played Dead Man mode and you've had that opportunity to be in a in a in a Discord call or a Team Speaker or Skype or whatever with with some friends, like you guys know. When you get kills or when you earn something on that game or on that game mode like it's 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 a fun feeling and it brings back the sense of runescape that we all desperately um want to keep forever but yeah um i'm rambling now so i'm gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoy um hope you guys um understand my perspective even if you don't agree with it um as always would appreciate some comments down below feel free to uh leave your own suggestions or let me know why you do or don't disagree um, I know I probably messed up a couple times uh, while speaking, um, like I said, super early in the morning, and I did this all in one take. So it wasn't exactly the easiest video to do, but I think that I got my general point across, which is the only reason I really did this. So anyways, guys, take it easy. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Hit the sub button if you want to see more videos like this and other Peking videos. Also, check out the live stream and all the other links in the description. Follow me on Twitter and all that other stuff. And I will see you guys next video.